What's going on Capricorn? Welcome to this timeless love reading. This is the Autistic Mystic. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this reading Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the energy dynamic between you and your person as it relates to the past, present, and future. Keep in mind Capricorn that this is a general reading, so take the messages as they resonate for you and your situation and leave behind the ones that don't resonate for you. Also, be sure to smash that like button so that this reading can reach all the Capricorn people that it needs to. Cross watchers are absolutely welcome here as well. So without further ado, Capricorn, let's go ahead and do four shuffles and really pull the energy for those of you watching this reading and see what's going on between you and your person. As always, I want to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Capricorn. Love messages for Capricorn, please. Love messages for Capricorn, please. Love messages for the sign of Capricorn, please. Just so you know, Capricorn, we are definitely going to clarify all these cards as we move along as well. Wow, look at that. That is super powerful energy coming through right off the bat here. Oh my goodness, wow. Mm. Okay. So Capricorn, let's go ahead and start off in the past, the past uh, timeline between you guys. Okay, in the past, some of you, this is going to be the distant past. Others of you, it's going to be more recent or immediate. We have the hanged man, we have the fool, and we also have the lover's card. So right off the bat, I feel like this is a very intense connection. Okay, the hanged man is the first card that came out of the deck. And in a love reading, this could really indicate someone being swept off their feet. So I feel either one of you or potentially even both of you, when you met this person, it literally flipped your world upside down, right? Someone might have had to sacrifice a long-held belief, but really it's the feeling that someone got swept off their feet, right? You combine that with the fool and the lover's card, right? The lover's card definitely indicates an intense union. For some of you, this could be an ex person. I actually sense for quite a few of you watching this reading right now, this is someone that you've already had dealings with. But for some of you, this is definitely a new person, right? But in the past, okay, the hanged man, fool, and the lovers, there was definitely an intense desire for union in the past, okay? So it's almost like when you guys met each other, right? These are three powerful major arcana cards. And it's really an interesting combination because the fool to the hanged man card is like, it's, an, it's a willingness to be open here with the fool card, right? Like someone is not denying um, this hanged man experience of being like swept off their feet. Like someone's open to the new. I feel like it could be even both of you here. So very strong feelings for each other in the past here, Capricorn. Um, I definitely, I really like the energy here. We're going to clarify as we move along as well. But let's move on to the present moment. So whenever you're watching this reading, Capricorn, this is the present moment energy. We have the Seven of Wands, we have the Ace of Swords, and we have the Knight of Cups here. So whatever happened between the two of you in your past, I feel like there's there's something that's keeping you guys apart because the Seven of Wands here in the present moment is all about kind of like defending yourself or fighting for what you want. In this particular scenario, I feel like it's this feeling of intense desire to get to the other person, um, right? Not afraid to engage in conflict energy in order to get to this person, right? You combine that with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is the centerpiece to your reading, and in a nine-card spread, you could say this is the most important card. So there's a lot of mental clarity right now about the about the intensity of this connection. The Ace of Swords is definitely an intense card. It's a card that pushes away all the bullshit, so all the stories that kind of prevent the two of you from being in union. Right now, there's a clarity that like, maybe this connection is gonna have to put in some work to be 
done here, but it's it's people, the romance is definitely in the air. You look at this one uh, row here, you have the lovers and the knight of cups right below it, right? So the Knight of Cups is all about romantic energy. Someone wants to come through and make an offer here, right? You have the Ace of Swords to the Knight of Cups, Lovers, and the Fool. Just look at this pocket of energy here, Capricorn. This definitely is a connection that I feel is meant to happen, okay? Whether it happens soon, whether it be a past person for some of you that's going to come back, this is just... The writing is on the wall, right? This is a connection that is meant to happen. Super intense. Could even be what you call a soul contract. Twin flame soulmate type energy with the lovers to the knight of cups, right? Also, the hanged man would indicate, would amplify that energy as well. We're going to clarify in a second, but let's move on to the future timeline. So this is like the future outcome as the, the energy stands in the present moment. You have the ten of wands, you have the four of cups, and you also have the five of swords. So in the immediate future for the two of you, I sense a feeling of intensity as it pertains to actually coming together. So I don't sense any feelings of love fading away. I just feel like some of you, like the four of wands to the um, ten, or the four of cups to the ten of wands to represent the overall energy in the future, there's just a belief system that says we can't be together because of X, Y, or Z. Okay, so someone might be feeling like they're not ready for this connection because of work obligations. The Ten of um, Wands is all about obligation, working really hard and not really getting any change that you want. But it is a, the, the number on the card is 10, which indicates an end of a cycle, like the beginning of a new cycle as well. So, you know, in the future, I just feel like there's going to be a grace period where the two of you have to deal with some sort of... Um, some sort of challenge, right? And you have the 10 of wands right below the seven of wands here. So there's definitely this feeling of like, in order to make this connection work, there's gonna have to be some subtle shifts or changes that happens between the two of you here. Um, there is this feeling that one person wants this right now and the other person wants to wait, right? So the four of cups, you have the knight of cups and the four of cups right close to it. So this could indicate someone coming through with a very strong offer and you just not being really sure about it. For a lot of you, I'm getting this is your own energy. Um, I feel like you know that you want this connection, but in just a practical sense, I can feel the trepidation like creeping up where you're just like, for some sort of practical reason, like this is the type of connection where it's all about the spiritual, right? In the past, you have all major arcana cards. So this is definitely like a faded type of connection, but when it comes to actually meeting up in the physical realm, someone might be overseas, okay? There also could be a third party involved because when you come, when it comes to this final card here in your reading um, for the future timeline, you have the five of swords. So I feel like there could be a third party involved that's kind of um, blocking this connection. Like one of you may be dealing with someone else here, um, but what's really coming through is like self-sabotage here or like, Whatever is going on with this four of um, cups here to the five of wands, it's like for some reason someone in this connection, whether it be you or the other person, feels like, I don't know, I just keep getting the feeling of like it can't happen, but that's actually not true, right? These major arcana cards are going to override all of this, the egoic bullshit. I'm not saying you're an ego in a negative sense. I just mean that it's almost like someone is looking through the eyes of the ego and just like really practically like, well, I don't see how this is going to work. Meanwhile, the other one really wants it. And both of you probably really want this connection. But then it's almost like when push comes to shove and it's time for you guys to really get together, I just see there being some issues, right? Because in the past, you have this amazing energy. And in, in the immediate future, you have a rather challenging energy. So let's really get into your reading now, Capricorn, and start clarifying some of these cards for you. Let's go ahead and clarify this hanged man card. Why is the hanged man energy here for you in the past, Capricorn? Let's see. Why is the hanged man energy here for Capricorn in the past? All right, you saw how much that jumped out of the deck, right? So we have the understanding card. Yeah, so this is like a love at first sight card. The understanding card is a deep realization, okay? Um, being set free from a cage. So for some of you, it's like I be you may have had a belief system that you never would find someone like this. And so that's why this is a really intense connection. It, it almost seems like the whole energy of this reading is like it's too good to be true. Or someone believes that it's too good to be true. It's like... The hanged man to the understanding card is definitely a shift of perspective, 
right? You're understanding a new realization about life because of this person. For some of you, I get the feeling like this is a type of person, whether it be their physical characteristics or whether it be something about this person that it's almost like you never thought you'd be into it. But when this person and their unique uh, energetic signature appeared in your reality, it shifted your values. It shifted what you believe that you want. And it could have shifted the type of person that you're usually with because everyone has a certain type of person that they like, right? An archetype. But this like cracked you open. So there may be like a, um, this may be like an interracial couple or overseas, like something about this person or like a different value. Like maybe it's a blue collar person, even though you're like, I never date those type of people. There's some sort of like drastic like shift in perspective here. Let's also clarify this lover's card in the past. Tell me more about this lover's card for Capricorn. For some of you, this is definitely an ex, like I said, that you're dealing with. And if that's the case, I feel like for those of you who this is an ex, like there's just a feeling of like um, not wanting to be hurt again. Like someone doesn't want to get hurt again. But let's see, why is this? Tell me more about this lover's card for Capricorn. Okay, so we have the ripeness card. So in the past, it was almost like both of you were at a certain phase of your life where you both were... It's like the right space at the right time. This is synchronicity. Both of you were ripe for love in the past. And since you crossed paths, it brought up all these like incredible feelings. The nine of um, pentacles is what this card is in traditional tarot. And so that ends, indicates an end of a cycle here, right? So it's I get the feeling it's like it's ripe for a new type of love. Like for a lot of you, this is going to be someone that brings a new flavor or a new quality of consciousness into your life. So it's super powerful. I see why you'd be attracted to this person. Um, let's move on to the present moment here, Capricorn, and see what's going on right now. Let's go ahead and clarify this Ace of Swords. Why is this a centerpiece to your reading? Why is the Ace of Swords here for Capricorn? Why is the Ace of Swords? This is new thoughts, new love. Um, I feel like it's some of you starting to realize, even though it seemed so grandiose and like spectacular and magical, and it seemed like a little bit detached from reality, it's like starting to have the realization that no, we can actually make this work. Someone's having that realization, intense desire. Why is this Ace of Swords here for Capricorn? Okay, so we have the maturity card. Yeah, so this could be a situation where both of you met when you were a little bit younger and a lot of time went by where it gave you the opportunity to, to become a little bit more mature. Now, the interesting thing is that this is the Ace of Pentacles in traditional tarot, right? So you have an Ace clarif you have an ace clarified by the Ace, right? So the Ace of Swords clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. But this card specifically, it really says that you have everything you need to finally manifest what you want. So the Maturity card is someone who's very in tune with all the elements of this reality. Financial, physical, mental, emotional, okay? So spiritual. So there's this feeling, it's almost like you're finally ready. In the past, I could see a lot of pain happening because it's like both of you were ready, but there was some sort of situation that was blocking you guys. But now the feeling in the present moment, the Ace of Swords, mental clarity and maturity, it's like we, like I feel like honestly both of you are having realizations that this can work. Like this, this became, rather than just a fantasy, something happened where it made it very more real. It made it more actualized and realistic. So that's super powerful. Um, let's also clarify this Seven of Wands, though, because that's kind of an interesting energy. Why is this Seven of Wands here? I feel like this card is here for a lot of you who you're dealing with an ex, okay? Because I feel like this is I feel like this is like someone not wanting to be hurt again. So someone might be on the defense here, right? Um, let's see why the Seven of Wands is here. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Capricorn? Wow, we have another Ace, super powerful. So the Seven of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Wands. So like I sense, like I don't even sense for most of you, it's not like a defensive energy. It's like an energy of like, what are you willing to fight for? Right, the Seven of Wands says, what are you willing to fight for? Because the Ace of Wands, this is the source card. This is all your spiritual energy being activated by this person. This does indicate a very intense physical attraction. 
And you know how that goes. Like sometimes when you're so infatuated with someone, I, I get the sense of infatuation here, right? You have two aces, a desire for new spiritual attainment and love and desire for physical. So whenever you have an infatuation, I'm getting the feeling that someone is going, someone is literally willing to walk to the ends of the earth or like, I'll walk a thousand miles for you just to get to you. There's this feeling of inspiration. There's this feeling of someone is willing to do deep change on themselves to make this connection work, right? We have the fool card. This is a card of inspiration as well. I really feel like this sparked a connection with you guys. You guys don't know, or you probably, maybe you know this, but there's a lot of like business tycoons or like super successful people that like keep a picture of either their family or like a really attractive person on their desk because that feeling of attraction then spurs them forward. So in the present moment, there's a lot of willing to change, step into the new. Like once again, there's something that was like making this seem like it was a fantasy. Now in the present moment, it's evolving into a situation where someone is willing to do what they have to do to get to the other person. All right, let, I feel like let's clarify this Knight of Cups as well. This is a beautiful energy, super powerful. Why is this Knight of Cups here for Capricorn? Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Yeah, so we have the participation card, guys. It's what I'm sensing. This is like the Four of Wands, okay? So this is someone who wants to participate in life with you. This particular card in this deck indicates a bunch of different forces coming together in order to make something work. So this could be utilizing the help of other people. Okay, so like I sense, like someone, and this is another fire card, there's a lot of passionate spiritual physical energy in this connection, right? You have the suit of pentacles and the suit of wands dominating this frequency. So once again, the knight of wands, the knight of cups to the participation card, someone's going to make an offer here, okay? Um, someone's in a planning phase right now, but there, there's no doubt that like you two are on, you two are on a crash course to come together. There's no doubt about that. And like, once again, it's a beautiful evolution because at one point this was a fantasy. This was too good to be true. There was a belief system that said, no, it can't happen. Now in the present moment, someone is saying, I don't care what I have to do. I'm going to get to Capricorn. Or it could be even you saying that to get to this other person. Now in the future, what I intuitively sense is happening with these kind of questionable cards is there's going to be like a streak of energy and it kind of fizzles out. So there's going to be this belief. There's going to be this hope. There's going to be this knowing that we're going to get together. But then it's like physical reality hits you and you put in work, but then maybe you don't get the result instantly. But I don't know. Let's not speak too soon. Let's see what's going on here. Why is the four of cups here? Because that's, that's an energy of apathy. That's an energy of like second guessing one. Like I feel like someone's second guessing this passion that they feel. Why is this four of cups here for Capricorn? Why is this Four of Cups here for Capricorn? Okay, so the Four of Cups is clarified by the flowering card. I honestly feel like someone in this connection is afraid of the greatness. Okay, once again, remember the hanged man to the experiencing card. Both of you have never experienced anything like this before. Even if it's an ex, someone has grown, someone's matured, came back as a different person. None of you have experienced the intensity of this connection before. This is the type of connection with the ripeness to the lovers, the maturity to the ace of swords, the source to the seven of wands. This is an energy that's way more intense than you've ever experienced. And it's, it very much so is an infatuation. It's a deep love. It's a longing and so someone is really feeling overwhelmed by this. Okay, so this is kind of like the, the chaser and the runner dynamic. But this is, you know, in the traditional tarot, this is the queen of pentacles, this card. So I feel like someone is waiting because once again, it's this feeling like someone's almost going back and forth from it's too good to be true, I can make it happen. It's too good to be true, I can make it happen. So there's this bipolar frequency but i feel like this is i feel like this is going to turn into the flowering like so 
Also, another thing coming through here is that the waiting is what makes this hot, right? Like if you just got this person instantly, it wouldn't be magical. So someone's kind of playing a, like a chase, a runner and a chaser game. And that, that adds to the foreplay of this connection. So I feel like this is going to flower at the right time. And it could happen in the future, right? This is the future timeline here. So flowering to the four of cups, someone's a little bit scared, but overall the flowering is going to overcome that, right? It's like we have all these sketchy cards and then beautiful ones pop out. Let's see why this is uh, 10 of wands here. Someone's putting in a lot of work and so what's coming through is someone's putting in their heart and soul into this connection, even if it's just energetically, even if it's just thinking about it. And they, they, ha they may have a subconscious belief that I can't get it no matter how much effort that I put in. Or it's just the feeling that it's like a letdown because of this super intense energy in the present moment. When it comes to like a week from now, if things don't pan out immediately, there's going to be this letdown feeling. Like, oh my God, was that all for nothing? I don't think it was for nothing. But let's see what Spirit has to say. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Capricorn? Why is the Ten of Wands here for Capricorn? Okay, so we have the Breakthrough card, super powerful major arcana card. Once again, it's like this is a this is literally the best evolution that you could ask for. This is someone trying to break through and finally being able to. So in the future timeline for for you guys, there's going to be an unexpected upward spiral here. Right? There's going to be a long period that you've potentially been experiencing for the long time of feeling like this is a destined connection, but finally it breaks through. Finally it happens. Okay, So that's amazing. Let's clarify this Five of Swords though, because that is a big card we have to clarify. I feel like intuitively someone's being, someone is actually, it doesn't even have to do with a third party and another lover. Someone's being pressured to not take this offer seriously. So this could be a family member, this could be a friend, because you see how in this in the layout of the reading, the Five of Swords is staring right at that person who's denying it. And so this could be a father figure, it could be a family issue, right? Um, because the Hanged Man to the Understanding card, once again, I sense this connection was very weird, it wasn't the traditional connection. And so it's almost like someone's pressuring another person to not take the offer. They're like, if you take that offer, we're not gonna be friends with you anymore. If you take that offer, Four of Cups, we're not going to like this. So I, I don't, I, it's starting to get the feeling like this isn't even either of your energy. This is a third party that someone's very nervous about. Someone's being pressured into not taking this connection. That just came through. See, sometimes I don't even need the cards, but let's see. Why is this Five of Swords here for Capricorn and this person? Why is the Five of Swords here? For Capricorn and this person. Why is the Five of Swords here for Capricorn and this person? All right, so we have the Aloneness card here. Yeah, so <clears throat> the Five of Swords to clarify the Aloneness card. Someone, I feel like someone has to give up something in order to make this connection work. And I get the feeling that it's either has to do with family or friends. Could even be an ex-lover that someone's still friends with, but that's kind of bullshit, right? You're not going to let that hold you back. So there's a fear of being alone here. Okay, there's a deep fear. The Five of Swords to the aloneness card. Someone in this connection knows that ultimately you're going to be able to handle it. But right now, in the immediate future, there's a deep fear of like, well, what if it doesn't work out and I, and I have to push away friends and family and then it doesn't work out, then I'm just left alone with no one. So there's just a fear. And, and by the way, in the future timeline, it's really coming back full circle because we had all major arcana cards. Now we start clarifying these down here. We have major arcana. We have queen of pentacles, another major arcana. So this, this connection is super intense. Um, Capricorn. I see it working out for you. I really see overcoming. I see it working out. Let's go ahead and get an angel oracle message for you guys before we send you off. Let's see what, let's get some advice from your angels and spirit guides. Advice for Capricorn regarding this situation or any message that wants to come through for them, please.
Let's see, advice for Capricorn regarding this situation or anything that wants to come through for them, please. Advice for Capricorn regarding this situation or anything that wants to come through, please. Okay. So we have the recovery card popping out here, Capricorn. Recovery. So the feeling is, is like you guys need to recover from something. Someone needs to recover from something. So if it seems like it's not panning out immediately, I get the feeling that someone needs to recover from the intensity of this connection, right? Um, so recovery, you may need to heal yourself. Someone may need to heal themselves before this really moves forward here. And then you also have the perfect timing card. So this is a really auspicious card to get in a love reading. Perfect timing. So I see it happening in the in the immediate future for you guys, um, right? But it has to be the perfect timing. And then you have the let go card. So let go in perfect timing, um, Capricorn. Like there's something that I feel like if you're the person who's hanging on to the friend or family, I feel like they're saying let go of that to make this work. Okay, if you're a cross watcher, apply that to the situation. Let go, perfect timing and recovery. So this is, once again, you have these major arcana cards all over the place. This is a connection that's going to happen when it needs to happen. Of course, there are certain things that you can do, more information that you can get to make this work faster. And if that's what you would like to do, feel free to book a personal reading with me, Capricorn. You find that those readings give you more information, more detail-oriented rather than just a general reading. But either way, uh, information on that is in the description box of this video, but either way, I appreciate you guys and I wish you the best of luck with this person. Okay, this is the Autistic Mystic. I hope you guys have a wonderful night or day wherever you are.